Well, the pick is in. Kellen is in the Zoom chat also. He is picked third round, 66 overall by the Minnesota Vikings. Kellen, congratulations. How you feeling, man? I appreciate you. Uh, I mean, it's an amazing feeling. And, you know, I think even going into this, I was, uh, you know, I knew Minnesota was going to be on the board. And, you know, definitely whenever I got the call, it was definitely an exciting moment. Probably one of the best feelings I've ever had. So I'm definitely excited and I can't wait to get up to Minnesota. Walk, walk me through the process of you, you know, talking to me off camera saying you want my tie. <laughs> uh, I just I, I like the color it looks smooth and uh, you know you got the the little pin uh, to match it also Thanks. so uh, I'm going to I'm gonna have to buy that tie <laughs> but the process leading up to it you know before the call the, the draft process what was that like for you uh, I mean it was amazing and um, you know I, on the other side of this wall I have about you know 80 um, members you know of pretty much my extended family um, just aunts and uncles and just here in San Antonio with me so um, you know, everyone kind of just got quiet. I mean, uh, I really, I really didn't know what to expect. And, um, but whenever I got the call, it was just a tremendous feeling. The number one dual threat coming out of high school, you go to Texas A&M, four year starter, pretty much. Now you're here. How did all that prepare you for this moment? Uh, you know, I th we always talk about, I think, uh, experience being the best teacher and, uh, whether that's highs and lows or, you know, having experience playing off the field, but. You know, I feel like one of my biggest growths is just my experience off the field and just being able to be my biggest self-critic and just pretty much be self-aware of, you know, certain things that I need to work on. And um, I feel like that just comes from, you know, my dad's military background and kind of how I was raised. So um, I feel like that's something that's always huge. And, you know, just I'm super eager to come in and learn a new playbook. I'm excited for something new. Um, and, you know, I, I was just excited. <laughs> Can't wait to get up to Minnesota. What Did you have pre-draft discussions with, with the Vikings before you got here? Yeah, so uh, we talked uh, at the Senior Bowl once. Um, you know, I had, I've had a great conversation with them and then uh, met with them once over Zoom. It's so weird uh, this year, everything's over Zoom. <laughs> um, but, you know, I felt like I had a, a, a tremendous conversation. And you know, I think just them being able to, one, learn, uh, you know, who I am um, and just how I approach the, the game mentally um, and just how I've been able to learn over the past couple of years. But also, I think uh, my physical intangibles, um, you know, my arm strength, mm. uh, my accuracy and just being able to uh, be athletic in the pocket or, you know, take off and, you know, just make plays. So, um, you know, I feel like that's just something what makes me very valuable. And, you know, like I talk about, I can't wait to get up there. I think the intangible part is what everybody is talking about. I mean, you ran a four, five, seven. I mean, you're one of three quarterbacks in SEC history to throw for over 9000 and rush for over 1500 in your career. But one other thing that a lot of people are talking about is your leadership qualities. For you, what does a leader look like? What is the definition of a leader to you? Uh, you know, I think one of the biggest things that I learned, uh, you know, about leadership is, you know, leaders, they don't, um, you know, have other people follow them. They have them join them. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, whenever whenever I want somebody to, um, you know, rise up to the level that I'm at, I want them to join the same level as me. I don't want them to be behind it. Um, that's something that, you know, I had to continue to learn. And, you know, at, at times it can be very hard, um, you know, for a quarterback and, you know, other people to get, um, you know, their counterparts around them to rise to the certain level that they want them to. And, you know, I think um, just like I always talk about just my self-awareness and, you know, me uh, being self-critical um, on myself, I was able to find different ways to um, elevate my teammates and we we're able to go nine and one this year. So mm -hmm. it definitely a true testament to my leadership. Well, I mean, I feel like winning games comes easy to you. And, you know, Minnesota Vikings fans love anybody that can help them win games. But, you know, I think the mindset for you, I know it has to shift a little bit because, you know, that there is a guy named Kirk Cousins here. He is a, a guy that that wants to compete and I'm sure he's going to help groom you also. So how eager are you to learn from him and, you know, I guess train that mindset to, to be that next great quarterback in Minnesota Vikings history? Uh, I mean, I'm super eager, you know, one to get up there and just, you know, grab the playbook, being able to learn a new playbook, um, but also just being able to learn from Kirk and, you know, obviously him being in different systems, uh, you know, going against the top guys and, you know, the whole entire NFL and the whole entire world. Um, so, I mean, there's so many things that he uh, he has learned over his, um, you know, last years. And just for him to be able to kind of, um, you know, spread that knowledge to me, I think it's just going to be, um, you know, huge for me. And, you know, I'm, that's one of the, my biggest reasons of me, you know, wanting to get up there and just being able to learn from him. Mm. Well, I'll get you out of here with this. I, I, I want you to look into the camera and tell Minnesota Vikings fans what they can expect from Kellen Mond for years to come. Uh, you know, I think one of the biggest things and uh, one of the things that I learned is to take every rep like a like a Super Bowl rep. 
And, uh, you know, whether that's in practice, um, just me, just as a normal person in the facility, um, but just treating everything like a businessman and treating everything like a professional. So um, I think uh, my intangibles, um, you know, my arm strength, my accuracy, and just my athleticism, um, you know, can speak for itself. And, um, you know, if, and I can, if I can apply that to, you know, my game, you know, I think I could be a very dangerous player. So, um, you know, the, the work is uh, definitely not over. And, you know, I'm excited to get to Minnesota. The work is just beginning, man. I'm excited to have you here in Minnesota. So in the meantime, safe travels, best of luck with everything, and I'll see you soon. Sounds good. I appreciate you. Congrats, man.